Oh, it loves it. Oh, it absolutely loves it. I should make a video. Denim shorts. I'm not even sorry. Yeah, I have no idea what to make a video on. I never know what to make a video on. Are you working? Yes. What shall I make a video on today? Oh, I don't know. What are you working on? I'm working on my work. You're working on your work? Yes. Okay, cool. Is this helping? No. Right, fair enough. You want to hang out? No, I'm working. You don't want to hang out at all? No, I can't. I am working. Fine! Don't need you anyway. Do you remember a week or so ago I made a video where I scrolled through all the photos on my photo gallery and stopped on a random one and explained the story of that photo? Let me talk to you about this picture. Well, in the comments of that video, there was loads of people saying that they loved the format and they want to see me do it again. So I figured why not? Okay, uh, which way is it? Pull, got to pull down, there we go. Right, okay, look away and... <laughs> right, we've got this picture of poop on. Let's go. The picture was taken on the 26th of February 2020 at our friends Alan and Emily's house. And that's actually more significant than perhaps I initially realised because this is probably one of the last times Charlie and I went and saw a friend without there being any sort of social distancing in place, which is... <clears throat> Depressing to think about, so let's move on. The subject of the photo is a cat called Poupon, which is actually the French word for chubby, although I'm pretty sure that's not the actual pronunciation for it. Hey Siri, how do you pronounce chubby in French? In French, chubby is... Totally. Right, no, that's not correct. Oh no, okay, Poupon. Chubby, hang on, here we go. Poupin. 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 Poop on, poop on, we say poop on. But why have I taken a picture of this cat? Why is this particular cat on my phone? Besides the fact that it's awesome to have pictures of cool animals on your phone. So, there's that. But this cat has a particular significance to this channel and many of the OGs will be already familiar with this. You see, back in 2019, Alan and Emily asked me and Charlie to house it for them to look after Poupin whilst they went on holiday for two weeks. And I have never had a cat before. I'd never lived with a cat before. So I decided that this would be a great opportunity for a YouTube banger. Dog person lives with cats for two weeks. <laughs> So the two dogs playing in the background there are Roxy and Lexi, my family's pets and the only pets that we've ever had. So if you were to split the world into dog people and cat people, I would have always said I was a dog person. Although, of course, you can like both and you can like neither. That's just sort of a playful way of looking at it. And I'll tell you why I'm saying that in a moment. Charlie, on the other hand, grew up with three cats, so she would always consider herself to be a cat person. But to be honest with you, Charlie and I intend to have both dogs and cats in our future. So when Alan and Emily said to us, would you like to look after Poupon? We saw this as an excellent opportunity to test whether or not we would be good at looking after a cat as a couple. <laughs> the 
The reason I'm shaking my head in this clip is because Poupon only ever showed me affection when she was hungry. There's a reason why her name is quite literally the French for the word chubby, but in reality, we actually got on really well. We bonded loads over that two weeks, and I was actually quite sad to go. Alan and Emily had told us all the things she liked. She was allowed a tiny little bit of milk every now and again. She had a little bit of catnip that she liked to roll around in. We had a laser pointer, which she didn't play with. She completely ignored. But, you know, we did all these things and bonded with her over time and made a really good video. And Poupon actually changed my mind on cats full stop. I went from liking cats to loving cats. So actually, all was a success and the video was all right. But that's not where the story of that video ends. So that video came out on the 30th of September 2019. Well, over a year and a half ago, but in that time, it's become the third most viewed video on this channel. Now, this is due to the fact that, weirdly, this is the only video of mine that the algorithm appears to have pushed out. The best way to demonstrate this is to look at my views over the last 48 hours at the time of recording, where this video has gained 138 views, which may not sound a lot, but for me, that's a big deal. Now, to put that into context, my video where I gave up social media for 30 days has had two views in the time. The video where I went welly wanging with Jack May and Robbie Knox has only got two views in that time. And the video where I summarized my 32 hour charity stream has only got one view in that time. So, yeah, I think it's safe to say that this video is being pushed by the algorithm. Now, this is very exciting for me. To have a video that's pushed out by the algorithm is a huge deal and what it really demonstrates is the internet loves cats cats in the thumbnail cats in the title which is exactly what i plan on doing on this bad boy be sure to like share and subscribe but also the other thing that it's meant is that i've got to see lots of really weird comments what it turns out is that people that like cats there's some weirdos among them. Some of my favorite comments include, but are not limited to, follow Jesus Christ, he loves all, and read and spread the gospel, brothers and sisters, amen. Kitty didn't give a shit because you didn't give a shit about Kitty. Just try to make them perform like they're people. You have to invest in them emotionally. Yes, Rachel, thank you. Why are cat haters so aggressive, LMAO? That one I really like because in that video I say that I fell in love with the cat, so I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> We get it, you want dog to be memes, not cats, huh? Some cats are different, you know. Dude, you have to pet them so they like you. I, I did live with this cat for two weeks. <laughs> what a disease. Cats are lactose intolerant, so yeah, zero tolerance from cats if you're lacking toast. Dog food is stinky. Okay, we get it, you hate cats. I don't think I said that. <laughs> you get the point. Oh, hey, hey, Poupon. Uh, how's it going? It's been a long time since we got to catch up, Poupon. You doing all right? Cool. You miss me? H how did you enjoy our time together in 2019? All right, good chat. Oh, lovely, lovely. Right, fair. And then, you know, the thing happens. Hello. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? I'm trying to film. I'm trying to film. This is Snuggy, or Mr. Snuggles, if you want to give him his full title and he is adorable i am genuinely i'm a full-on cat convert i mean dogs are still dogs uh, dogs over cats but we don't want snuggy to hear that you can't just jump up at me in the middle of me filming hey oh. last year of course charlie and i live with her mum which meant that we got to spend the year living with this adorable cat, Snuggy. Mr. Snuggles for his full title, but everyone calls him Snuggy. Unfortunately, Snuggy passed away a couple of weeks ago, but he was an old boy who lived a full life and we loved every minute of living with him last year. So between Poupon and Snuggy, I've gone from thinking cats are okay to absolutely loving cats. And that is the story of that photo. One of the things Snuggy used to do was jump up on the table and drink water from a glass, which is naughty, but bloody hell, it's cute. Look at this.